second. Less than three seconds. And Cleveland, our top speed will be about 175. At a place like Indianapolis, it would be 230. So they're extremely fast. You're socked right in there, ready to go at a performance driving. To feel the excitement, to sense the speed, to know the exhilaration of Indian car racing, nothing beats being there. And Amway is there. The Amway car, with its now familiar award-winning pink and blue design, competes on the track before thousands of fans and millions of TV viewers. The Amway name is there, along with other big winners in the world of business. Amway distributors are there, with customers and prospects, in the stands, and at Amway's hospitality tents. And Amway driver Scott Brayton is there, at the track, in the races, before distributors and fans, and in national news media. Wherever Indy cars draw a crowd of racing enthusiasts, at tracks across the U.S., in Canada, and Australia, or in the news, Amway is there. That's why the IndyCar program is fast becoming Amway's driving force. Every place I go, as soon as I come in, I turn on the morning show, there's Scott. Well, I think Amway, Amway's uh, marketing program using the IndyCar uh, racing program that they have has been, uh, it's just been magnificent. I think it's been probably one of the two or three best marketing programs on the circuit, perhaps the best. At the track, you see Amway distributors uh, there, and they see the car, and they smile, and it's, you know, they're part of the race. That's our car. This is the first time we've been down in this capacity. we have I've been to the races many years ago, but to be a part of it, it's just so exciting. Amway's driving force puts itself in the right place at the right time, taking advantage of every opportunity to keep Amway's car and driver in front of the public, showing an audience of millions that Amway is in a club of winners and those who work to win. No one works the way like a Scotty does and gets up early in the morning on interviews and, and speaking for his sponsors and things like that. Scott Brayton appears on TV talk shows and newscasts in each of the 17 cities on the indie circuit, and he never misses a chance to recognize his sponsors. Here's the deal. You see the cars all the time. You saw them today. They're like traveling billboards, right? Well, so are the drivers. You ever see their uniforms? Tons of uh, sponsors' logos. So I challenged one of the drivers that I was talking to this week to, without looking, come up and name every single logo that was on his suit. And here it is, the Round the Corner Play of the Day. Well, of course, I have Amway, and I have Herc Selenies, and I have PBI on this shoulder, and uh, Champion on this shoulder. I have uh, PPG here on my, uh, on my uh, shoulder here, and then uh, I have uh, Amway up here again, and then uh, um, Goodyear up here, and uh, Simpson. Off the track, Scott is Amway's goodwill ambassador playing a key role in Amway's many community service programs. From Easter Seal fundraisers to driving in a mini Grand Prix race for the Arthritis Foundation. And he speaks to school children as CART's representative in the Race Against Drugs program. Race Against Drugs is a partnership in drug education by American Motorsports. Its two key partners are the FBI and the National Child Safety Council. Its success is built on having drivers like Scott Braden and Amway Corporation step forward and assist us in bringing the drug-free message to the children across the United States. Scott, as he goes around to the schools representing the FBI and the National Child Safety Council, and CART is a perfect spokesperson for what we're trying to get across to the kids. He's a role model. People look up to him. It's a great program, and we're really pleased that Amway is involved in it, and Scott is a spokesperson for the championship auto racing teams. Scott carries the image of a very clean, all-American uh, young man, uh, race driver. That image, combined with Scott's natural talent for news interviews, makes him an effective spokesman for Amway. Scott's appeal and Amway's effective public relations campaign have resulted in millions of dollars in publicity through hundreds of TV, radio, and print interviews. For example, if you simply know that uh, between Scott and the rest of the team that Amway gets on in the Indianapolis 500 for four minutes, you know, which doesn't seem like a lot of time, ABC is getting $350,000 for every 30 seconds. So that alone is a, just a tremendous value, plus all of the cable time, and then you add that to all of the local time that Scott and Amway 
tend to generate in every market they got. In the presence of other sponsors, Amway has been particularly bright. One, in its choice of teams and drivers, that they have Simon, that they have Scott Brayton. And there are people that are, that are very public relations oriented. And they are able to use opportunities and to make opportunities for themselves and for Amway that doesn't happen with other teams. During the 1991 season, Scott Brayton interviews on radio and TV programs in each city on the indie circuit equaled $700,000 in equivalent advertising value. That publicity doesn't include interviews with Scott Brayton and team owner Dick Simon on national network TV or the appearance of the Amway car in nationally televised races. Scott's improved performance this season focused the TV cameras on the Amway car. If Amway had to buy equal exposure in advertising, the total cost would have been $1.5 million. Scott Brayton and the Amway team also were featured in hundreds of major publications across the country. That coverage equaled a total advertising equivalency of $2.5 million. Add all this media coverage to exposure at the track and other indie promotions, and the grand total for publicity for Amway exceeds $5 million. Once you've been there, it's clear. The excitement of indie car racing, combined with the right driver and team, and savvy promotion, is Amway's driving force.